where do you get your ideas? Right here. All of this is my magician's toy shop. I'm Ray Bradbury, and this is... Yes, and as always, just as I've poured myself a fresh lemonade. I'm sorry I'm late. I'll just lock up. Don't you get lonely living in a big house like this all by yourself? Old maids love to live alone, Francine. of course. We're going to see a thriller. Real scary, I'm told. Won't catch us out on no night like this. Hey, Adeline, not with that lonely one around. We're going to lock ourselves up real tight, aren't we, dear? Mm-hmm. You do that. Come on, Rancy. <laughs> You don't really believe all that stuff about the lonely one, do you? Oh, of course not. Those ladies just love to blab. Besides, they're, they're not much at risk. <laughs> well, maybe we, we shouldn't go to... Francine, we're going to the movies. Where do you think you're going? To the movies? I'm not going down there. Yes, you are. I hate it down there. I don't care. It's still early, and the lonely one won't be out until later. Besides, it's the best shortcut... Come on. <laughs> Lavinia, you can laugh all you want, but as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing funny about the ravine. Hey, what do these steps remind you of? I don't know. Come on, when you were a kid. The story of the boogeyman coming into your house and you upstairs in the bedroom. Hattie McDonald's was killed a month ago, you know. And Roberta Ferry a month before that? Must have been the boogeyman. Lavinia. Now he's on the first step. Moving slowly up to the second. And Elizabeth Ramsell hasn't been seen for two days. Elizabeth Ramsell ran away with a traveling salesman, I bet. And now he's on the fifth step. Coming up to the sixth. You know, they were all found strangled with their tongues sticking out of their mouths. The boogeyman is now. Stop it. And now he's entered the bedroom. And he's standing by the bed. I hate it down here. And now he's got you. Ah! Oh, don't. Don't. Bring it in. Guys, let's get in here and seal it off. Let's lay it down over here where it's flat. All right, sure. Let's tie over there on You the ladies branch. can go home now. We'll uh, call you tomorrow. We get straight home now. Thank you, Officer Kennedy. Come on, folks. Wait, Francine. Look, it's almost 8.30. We're going to go pick up Helen and go to the show. The show? We, we have to. It's very important. We've got to forget all this. And if we went home, we'd remember everything. Now we'll just go to the show and act as though nothing happened. That's Elizabeth there, our friend. Not much we can do about it now. The least we should do is call Elizabeth's mother and tell her ourselves. I don't know if I can. Leave it up to me. 
Wow, another murder. You boys out there, you, you go home. Get out, get out, get out. Only an hour late, that's all. Well, what happened? We were, there was this commotion. What kind of a commotion? They found Elizabeth Ramsell. What do you mean they found her? Well, in the ravine. Dead. Was she dead? Yes. Oh my God. Well, who found her? We, we don't know. Do we, Francine? Oh, poor Elizabeth. I've got a mind to go back in there and lock the door. You do that. Lock the door. We're going to the movies. Vinia. Come on now. like this come on they say there's safety in numbers and besides it's too soon this killings only come once a month gotcha oh, i'm the lonely one <laughs> frank dylan don't you ever do that again oh, gee, uh, i'm sorry Did, didn't you hear what happened in the ravine what's the matter with you good lord now get out of the way Francine he was only joking. Why is she crying so hard? I'll tell you later. Let's not be late for the movies. Come on, Francine. Come on, lighten up now. <laughs> we should be indoors like everybody else. That's just where we are going, Francine. Thanks. Sure look nice tonight, ladies. I'll have a quarter's worth of peppermint shoes, please. You look real pretty this afternoon, Miss Lavinia, when you were right. yes. in for your chocolate soda. You're so pretty. Someone was asking after you. Oh? Sure. Man was sitting at that table right there. Watched you walk out. Said, say, who's that? Why, Lavinia Nips, prettiest maiden lady in town, I said. She's beautiful, he said. Where she live? <laughs> you didn't tell him, I hope, did you? No, 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 no. I just said something like, uh, on Park Street, you know, near the ravine. Oh, you fool. Well, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sure it was nothing. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm calling a taxi to get us home. Maybe he's the lonely one. Well, no taxis for me. If I'm meant to be the next victim, I will be the next. Might be kind of exciting. <laughs> Listen, I made him tell me what the man looked like. It was a stranger in a dark suit with a, a very long, pale face and, and very thin. I hear this is really scary. Don't be so upset, Francine. Come on, calm down. It's all right. And besides, I'm not that beautiful. Oh, but you are, Lavinia. You are the loveliest lady in town now that Elizabeth... Ra <sighs> if you just learned to relax, you would have been married years ago. If you two want to take a taxi, then go, because I'm going to the movies and I'm going to walk home alone. Thanks very much. No, 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 we can't let you oh, do that. Can't. Lavinia. Hi. I'll have uh, two tickets for the scaredy cats and one ticket for me, please. The police have asked us to cut the cartoon and the coming attraction so we can all be out at a decent hour. Now, the main feature is going to be over by 1045. Please, go straight home. He means us. Someone has to go down there, and it might as well be me. Rick, you can't. I must. I must destroy him before he destroys us all. Rick! 
us, darling. I love you. You come back. Save a pillow for me, kid. How embarrassing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>